Welcome to Tiger King's YouTube channel. Today's topic is filler weld buildup. I will show you how to do a half inch filler weld and how to use a fillet gauge. The most important thing when doing filler welds is to match the size required in the drawing. The distance from the root to toe is called leg. The distance from the root to the face is called the throat. Then the filler weld size is measured using a fillet gauge. If the weld doesn't touch the fillet gauge, the weld is rejected by an inspector. As you see, the weld looks okay, but it will be rejected because the throat doesn't touch the gauge. I welded the two half inch filler welds to compare good buildup and bad buildup. I build up this weld by covering the entire previous weld pass. If you make a size on the quarter inch, it is okay, but if you make it bigger than 516, I don't recommend this way. Why? First, the weld bead is too wide. I'm not a welding engineer, so I cannot provide objective evidence, but I understand that extremely wide weld beads are not acceptable. Second, too much heat in food. You have to spread the torch a lot and it gives a lot of heat input to the material. Third, the bigger the weld, the harder the working cup. Not looking good and high possibility of weld defect such as overlapped toe. This is how you should do a weld buildup. You need to build up by layering the weld beads like steps. For a video on how to do a filler weld, please refer to the last episode. The link is in the description. Today we will focus on how to do the build up. First pass, high weld current and run fast. This is the key point for filler weld. Don't make a wide bead. Just move your torch up and down by wiggling. Cup size. I use number 10 cup for almost all welding, but for large weld size, I use number 12 cup. Weld current. I set 30 to 40% higher weld current than when doing a pipe root pass or cover pass. The plate thick is 516 and the welding current shown here is about 150. First pass is done and ready for the second pass. I cover the entire first pass when I do the second pass. The most important thing in build up is how much welding to do for each pass. The biggest mistake is to weld leg size too wide to build up quickly. If you do this, you will definitely fail. As you can see, you should only slightly cover the ends of a previous welding pass. It is much more difficult to get the throat size right than the leg size. To build up the throat quickly, you need to weld slightly overlapping the previous weld ends. Now you are watching the second pass. Building up requires many welding passes. If you keep building without any guide, the welds will get worse and worse. I use the end of the leg as a guide from the second pass. This way, the welds will be good and the throat can be filled quickly. The second pass is finished. From the third pass, the welding is layered from the bottom. The lower weld end is slightly covered and the upper part is covered between the middle and the top of the previous pass. You are looking at the third pass. As I explained in the previous picture, the bottom is slightly covered and the upper part is welded between the middle and the top. A fast welder is not necessarily a good welder. However, I tend to do filler welds quickly. Please keep in mind this again. Don't try to do a large weld at once that will just ruin the weld. The best way to do a filler weld is to do quickly with a high welding current and build it up layer by layer. After the third pass, here is the fourth pass guide. This time, cover the top slightly 
and the bottom halfway down from the previous weld. You can continue to build up like this. Now that you have some understanding, I will quickly show you from the fifth pass. I expect that by the seventh pass, the weld will meet the desired weld size. In the fifth pass, slightly cover only the lower toe. In the sixth pass, just the weld middle. In the seventh pass, slightly cover only the upper toe. I finished the welding and I will check the weld size using a half inch fillet gauge. Let me briefly explain how to use a fillet gauge for people who have never used it. The fillet gauge has weld size marked on it. One side measures the throat and the other side measures the leg. Basically, if the weld touches the gauge, the side is correct. And if it doesn't touch, it's a failure. First, let's check the throat. Fortunately, the gauge touches the welding area. The throat side is okay. Next, let's check the leg size. The leg also touches the gauge, so it satisfies the desired welding size. I am not good at welding processes other than TIG. I'm embarrassed to show you, but I did a build up with a stick to show you. Personally, I do this build up not only for TIG welding, but also for welding like MIG or stick. In fact, unlike one you see, welding build up is not easy. You need to be somewhat skilled at welding to do a good build up. However, if you want to advance as a good welder, you need to do a good build up. There is only one way to become a good welder. Just keep doing it consistently. It might have been a little bit boring, but thank you for watching.